Uh, we have big changes in the weather way. We've been talking uh, weather on the way. We've been talking about this. Let's start off by talking about your Veterans Day forecast. It was a beautiful Veterans Weekend. The weekend weather could hardly uh, be beat, but boy, it all changes tomorrow. Even though we start very mild tomorrow morning in the 60s, but please do not be fooled. We're going to have some wind and some rain come through. The cold front arrives sometime later in the morning hours. As soon as it does, temperatures will quickly drop all the way down into the 40s by 4 o'clock. But oh, these winds will be so strong. There won't be a whole lot of rain with it. But this is how it looks. Yesterday, or I should say yesterday, I should say today, this afternoon, it was 75 degrees. And by the time we get to Tuesday morning, that wind chill will be around 15. So that's a 60 degree drop in the fuel line. Like temperature, it's going to be quite dramatic. So the wind advisory takes place at 10 a.m. tomorrow, goes on till Tuesday, 6 a.m. The winds out of the north, 20, 30 miles an hour, gusts up to 40, 45 miles an hour expected. This is the first wind advisory since last May. The winds not so bad in the morning; they'll be brisk, but as soon as the front comes through, they get powerful, and these winds at oh, 20 to 30 will go on through the day and all the way into the evening. So as the temperatures drop, we start talking about some significant wind chills, and more on that in a second. But first, let's talk about that rain. Now, if you're out participating in the parade or watching any of the Veterans Day parades, it's really going to be not much in rain. Probably under a quarter of an inch of rain will fall. It's all about the wind and the dropping temperatures, but you see there will be some shower activity along the front and behind it. Now, there might be a few spits of, of sleet with the rain as it's tapering off, nothing that would affect the road. The ground would be too warm anyway, but you got temperatures in the low 40s and down into the 30s before the day is done. Just give you an idea of just how powerful this front is in the cold air. But about those those wind chills, you know, even during the day in the afternoon tomorrow, they're going to be in the teens, and then by the time we get into the morning hours on Tuesday, enough wind to have feel like temperatures in the single digits. This is a shocker. This is a hard freeze, by the way, Tuesday morning. Very unusual to be this cold this early, but a hard freeze. The first one of the season Tuesday morning, probably again on Wednesday morning. It's going to take a couple of days to climb out of this kind of cold. We'll still be in the 50s on Thursday, but by the time we get to Friday and Saturday and Sunday, we're at least back into the 60s. Small rain chances show up on Sunday.